Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about key elements for effective reporting of molecular diagnostic tests. Molecular diagnostic reports should be very clear. It should include actionable and critical information in the first page of the report, preferably in the form of a tabular column with high level interpretation. This information should also be clear to a general physician let us see the components of molecular diagnostic reports so the molecular diagnostic report should have a requisition information and primary clinically significant results, additional clinically relevant results, and comment section to include the clinically relevant information, genes with insufficient coverage, detailed information on testing methodology and genomic targets included in the assay with appropriate references and other elements. So, the requisition information includes patient identifier like name, medical record number and date of birth, ordering physician's name, indication for testing, specimen accession number, specimen source and type, collection date and time and other pertinent information for testing such as ethnicity or gender. Primary clinically significant results. Here, we should brief the list of clinically relevant variants with diagnostic, therapeutic and or prognostic value including the use of standard nomenclature like HGVS nomenclature. If appropriate, try to indicate the relevant tiring system, tire 1, 2 or 3 for cancer uh, specific variants as per AMP guidelines if it is a somatic panel. Follow ACMG guidelines for a germline panel. A brief interpretation highlighting the clinical significance should be provided in the comments. Clinical management recommendations whenever appropriate like Further refer, referring the patient to higher center for comprehensive panel or uh, a comment about genetic counseling or follow up or further testing. Additional clinically relevant results. These results may not be relevant to the treatment but may have some additional important interpretation like reporting VUS that is variance of unknown significance and information about clinical trials. You should also include list of all the genes tested including those with negative results. So, in the comment section, you should give a more detailed description of the clinically relevant, potentially relevant or VUS genes with lengthy explanation of each particular gene and data and associations with the specific conditions if available. Ensure use of standardized nomenclature that is HGVS nomenclature and unequivocal variant descriptions like transcript IDs or genomic descriptions with appropriate reference IDs. It is important to uh, mention a section about genes with insufficient coverage. 
and also specific issues with the specimen are testing that impacted quality of results and their interpretation. Sometimes repeated extraction of DNA and RNA will lead suboptimal uh, concentration of nucleic acids. That should also be mentioned in your report. We should also provide detailed information on testing methods and genomic targets examined. Information on reagents, equipment and bioinformatics tools used and uh, analytical performance characteristics of the assay. References, the reference ranges as appropriate if, if it is a uh, quantitative assay. Limitations, limitation, uh, limitations and disclaimers should also be mentioned in the report. So if you have made any changes in the preliminary, final or addendum reports, that should be mentioned clearly. If any part of testing was sent to a reference laboratory, that should also be documented. Printed name of laboratory director, name and address of uh, testing lab. CPT and ICD-10 codes may be included for billing purposes, but uh, these are not required. Thank you.